Everyone to stick with us versus herd. If it's your first time here, you like the content, hit subscribe. If you want to get notifications for when we go live, tap the bell. And if you want to join the UVH fam, links are below for our free options trading group along with our Discord. I'm going to get to it. We're going to go through the trades today. I was trading expiration Friday um, exclusively today. And as you can see, things got a little turned up to the positive side, also the negative side. I'm going to go through all my trades. I'm uh, pre recording this because I got to take off for a wedding so no live stream today but i'm going to go through my trades because i think that it's helpful for those that want to trade expiration friday and i definitely definitely do not recommend it for beginner traders just but hopefully you can learn from my experiences from my wins and my losses here um, as you can see here i did have more winning trades than losses but the losing trade that i had today was pretty big so i'm up only 79 dollars on the day when at one, one point i was up over 300 dollars on the day and i think it came down to like you know i'm obviously all cashed out now so i'm at 79 dollars. so starting out let's go through the trades here um i think i want to start at baba because um, baba was initially my first trade here um so baba was actually a swing trade and I'm gonna go through that right now. So yesterday, um, let me pull up Baba on the chart. Okay, so if you don't know, yesterday Baba had earnings. Um, they kind of came down, let me see this so you can see a little bit better. So yesterday Baba had earnings. Uh, they did beat earnings, but they were, they, were, they were fading. So I did buy the 165 put and when it looked like it wasn't going to go down anymore, it looks like it was it was just kind of stabilizing here. I thought maybe we could have a nice if if we had some news or something um, through the tariffs or something like that, we could get down to like one sixty two. Now this was a risky swing trade, so what I did is I bought the one sixty five put, which was my original position here, which I wanted it to be my my day trade here. So I bought the one sixty five put for a dollar fifty. Which is kind of expensive. I'm like, well, I don't want to. I don't really want to swing trade that naked. So I bought the the calls, the 170 calls for. I bought one at 23 cents and then one at 37 cents. So I had two calls at 170 and one put at 160, kind of balance out. So even if it goes down to like you know the 164, 162 area, um, you know that would have been a wash. It would definitely definitely would have made more money on the put side than the call side, but that's what i thought going into things um but overnight baba baba got a um an upgrade so i closed it out for 266 it cost me around two two um let's see here it cost me around 210 i believe 210 i closed it out for for a uh 56 profit today and kind of take a look at these options here i thought i thought that Baba had the potential to run to 175 today. I just didn't really, really believe it. So I bought the 170 calls yesterday for, let's go back to that, just to show you what, what it's trading at here. 23 cents and then 37 cents. If I held on to that trade, it would have been, it would have been a big winning trade for me for, <laughs> for the day. Definitely wouldn't really have cared about about my Tesla loss, right? So I was so 25 cent, 23 cents and then 37 cents is when I bought my second one. And now if you look at those calls here, um, the 170 calls are now trading for like 485, 495. And I let go of the whole strangle for 266. I mean, just insane. I mean, yesterday these hit a low of 18 cents and now at, at 495, 490. So not saying that's going to happen every time, you know, definitely was an anomaly. I wish that I used that same. The problem was I got to get better. Last couple times I've been up my first few trades, you get a little bit of cocky, you get a little cocky where you're like, oh, I'm going to let this other trade run and it doesn't. So I used, I was very disciplined on my first few trades on uh, taking profits from Alibaba and Netflix. I was on. I was very disciplined, but then when it got the Tesla, things got a little bit out of control. Um, so I definitely, you know, as as a trader, there's always things that you can work on. There's always things that you can work on here. Um, going into my next trade here, let me. Uh, this is where the day trade. So that was the it for that was my only swing trade. Um, going into it, I bought Netflix and Tesla. Um, 
a little bit into the open here. Uh, Netflix, Netflix was a nice trade. I bought the 302.50 calls for 55 cents, let them go for a dollar seven at uh, 9.44, so at about an hour. So I'm at 8.46, I am central, so at 8.46, I, I placed the trade and then 944 I sold them. So nice, almost 100% gain on that on Netflix, as you can see in the bottom right here. Netflix, Netflix ran. This this is what I mean by discipline. I put the trade on right at the at the start of this bar right here at, at 846. Let it run to 946 right here, and and this was this was probably the one of the most beautiful trades that I did today, right here. Just took advantage, took my profits. Yes, it could it could have kept running, and it did run, but it pretty much stalled out here. And if we're looking at Netflix, we can see what those are worth right now. Those Netflix calls, the um, 30250s. So you know, on expiration Friday, it doesn't pay to wait. It doesn't pay to wait. Unlike Baba, but. Now those 30250s are only worth 42 cents. And I bought them for 55 cents. So I would have been down money. So on expiration Friday, you gotta take advantage of the move. And that's something that I didn't do on, on Tesla. And not only that, I buried myself deeper. <laughs> um, the heck? Um, people, people, people texted me because I got this, this wedding and I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to be gone already. Whoops. <laughs> um, well, let's, we'll, we'll come back to it. We'll come back to Tesla. Let's talk about Nvidia because I think Tesla is going to take me a little little while. Nvidia today had a couple of interesting trades here. So Nvidia, I tried I tried a couple times. Let me pull up the Nvidia chart here. Kind of show you what I was looking at. So they had earnings yesterday, and I was playing the fade initially. So initially, I bought the 157.50 put for 99 cents, and I sold it for 98 cents. So I did lose a dollar on the trade, and I bought that at 10.16 and sold it at 10.42. So at 10.16, um, right in here, I was playing this. It was coming down, and it just couldn't. It just couldn't break down. And I was thinking, okay, we had expiration Friday. They did beat earnings. It was starting to flatten out over here. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna take the dollar loss. Not really worth it to lose a hundred bucks on this trade. And, you know, it could it could have faded, but you got to be really very careful about earnings winners. You don't want to just you don't want to just start shorting an earnings winner, even though it's gone down a little bit. You know, I went from 161 to 157. I did miss. You know, if I wanted to short, I probably should have shorted right around like 159 to 157 area. Um, but didn't happen so it was poor execution on the short if you're gonna go short yes you could have made money going short from 161 I typically don't like to trade earnings winners or earnings losers right at open like within the first hour because it gets it gets really crazy you can see it went from 157 to 161 then back down and then back up and you know, I generally try to stay away from the chaos because you're definitely not gonna get the best deal on pricing there um, then going into the next trade so I don't normally do this, but I did flip flop. So about 50 minutes later at 11.33, I bought the 160 calls for 14 cents and I sold them for 56 cents at uh, 2.11. So a little bit ago here, about 40 minutes ago. So I, sold, I bought them for 14 cents at 11.33. So right, right in here when it started to take off, I bought two of them for 14 cents. I was thinking, okay, I think it could it could has a potential to revisit the highs of the day, looking pretty strong. It just took a really long time to get there. So once it broke through, once it broke through up here above 160, I took my profits because it was already 211. There's only 50, there was only 50 minutes left in the trading day. And as you can see, I'm glad I did take profits and I stayed disciplined on this because uh, it's starting to come back down, and those are only worth I sold them for 55 cents, and right now they're only worth 19 cents. So you got you got to be careful. That's why it's very risky to trade expiration Friday. I definitely do not recommend this if you're new to trading. If it's if it's if you're a beginner, don't trade same day expiration. And if you're on Robinhood, you can't actually trade these because. Um, they don't let you trade. They can only they only they only let you close say, uh, exp uh, 
on the day. You can't open up new positions uh, because they know how risky it is and they know that their user base is very, there's a lot of beginners there and they, they, know, they understand that's gonna create a lot of work for them to clean up a mess if somebody makes a mess. So if you're new to trading, you know this is not for you. This is a very aggressive trading style and you have to uh, really monitor um, your trades. Um, going in, so now going into Tesla, you know, what, what, did we, what, did, what, what did we do wrong here? What, what do we do wrong here? One thing, I averaged down way too many times. If you start averaging down and hoping to make it back, um, there was two different times I was profitable on this trade and I didn't take the money and I ended up taking loss. I mean, it's just, it, was, it, was, it, was, it wasn't because it was a bad setup from the beginning. It was because I let greed drive and I let it, I let it take my profits. You know, so initially, let's actually get these going in here. I was trading the 220, 222.50 calls. So actually, let's bring up Tesla down here. And I'm going to bring up these calls for you so you can see what happened. Um, 222.50s. Okay. You know, what it, and we'll, we'll just look at today. You know when you when you get into later today I got I got suckered and the reason why I got suckered is because it's my fault it's a hundred percent my fault when you lose like this you got to look in the mirror and say why did I lose why were you so stupid what and it's not it's not the market it's you I was profitable in two different two different times and I didn't take the money I did not take the money so then I'm you get punched in the face with a hundred dollar loss I mean I'm still up seventy nine dollars on and profits for the day but could have been a lot better, you know. Could have been, could have been a three hundred, four hundred dollar day. But you can't reflect. You can't reflect on that and like let that bring you down. You have to just learn from it and identify that and, and move on to you know Monday or tomorrow. Um, so looking at this pretty beautiful chart, um, let's go into. Let's bring up my trade just so you can follow along with me. So at eight fifty three, you know, twenty minutes after open. I bought two of the 222.50 calls for 48 cents. So, so right after open, 850, 8.53 here. So right, right in here when it was like 220, because I thought from 220 it's gonna run a 222, and it did. And I'm like, after I got the 222, I'm like, well, this could probably run a 224 because it went up so easily, but. You have to I realize it literally went from 216 to 222 in an hour and I should just you know sometimes when gains are too easy you kind of trick yourself and you're, and you're like what did I do why you know that was that was that was too easy I'm sure there's more money here right and that's that's why that's why people say or they ask me all the time should I take profit should I take profits so here's a good example uh, the answer is always yes and I should I need to actually write that down on my monitor here if I should take profits the answer is always yes and like I like earlier I, that same discipline that I use on Alibaba cost me eight hundred dollars in profits you know I still I made fifty dollars in profits but I could have had an eight hundred dollar uh, profit on that on that trade so but in this case you can't see it doesn't it doesn't work like that it doesn't work like that you just gotta be you just gotta stay disciplined all the time and take what you can get I mean essentially um, so at 8.53 it ran up to 2.22 and as you can see my 40 my 48 cent call here exploded up to a dollar I was up a hundred percent take the money take the money take the money I then got the brilliant idea at 11.26 to buy two more at 28 cents averaged down a little bit you know when it came down to uh, what time was that 11.26 and this is this is pretty much where where the wheels fell off. So in 11:26, it then it then spiked up a little bit. I could have got out with a with a small profit. I didn't. And as you can see, Tesla has just been fading all day. Then I got another bright idea. Let's average down again. If you're averaging down two three times, I mean, just just close the trade out. It's just stupid. It's just stupid. But I mean, hopefully people can learn from this uh, from this mistake. I mean, thankfully, thankfully. I didn't go from green to red day. I mean, that would have made me really angry. Yes, I still made like I still made money today. I could have only made a lot more money, but going from a profitable day down to a red day where you give it all back and then you had these wonderful trades, you know, 
that would have been really pissed me off. But so I'm not I'm not in that bad of a mood, <laughs> thankfully. But but as you can see, you know, and at the end of the day, you know, I closed them out for two cents. If you're gonna close them out, might as well close them out for a profit, right? If you're gonna have to, if you're gonna close them out, if you're trading an account that's impacted by day trades, if all that stuff, if you're gonna lose a day trade, if you're worried about losing a day trade. You might as well close it out for a profit if you're going to close it out. If you're, and sometimes the brokerages will like force you to close it out, uh, depending on how risky the trade is. You know, Tesla, Tesla right now looks like it looks like it wanted to bounce up, and this could easily have gone to 222 from here to here. But you know, on expiration Friday, you got to be very, very, very careful. And on this trade, I was very reckless. I was very reckless. I I I did very well on my execution on Alibaba. On Netflix and Nvidia and then when it came to Tesla I don't you know sometimes you just don't know what you're thinking and then I'm just gonna look re reflective on it on the weekend and come back money fresh I mean I made money this week I made money today so definitely definitely we're in a better situation than we were on Monday and that's kind of what the goal is you may make, make mistakes during the, the week or the day but you can't let it impact the future you got to just keep trading you got to keep moving keep focusing on keep getting better you know, so just want to do the just want to do a quick recap. You know, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you um, like, I said, if you want to join the UVH fam, links are below. Stay safe, stay green. It's always us versus herd.